Lakers playing. <laughs> well, let's watch the Lakers then. Ooh. Oh, nice. Look at that. Let me check. All right. Welcome. Um, what so. do you think, buddy? Sitting here with Emmett Reimer. Yep. Um, and we are looking at the Lakers playing Phoenix. Um, we're going to show you Lakers little... home game. It's a home game? For the Lakers, yeah. We went to a home game there. We did. We saw Kobe, right? Did we? Rusty? Kobe, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, we did. We did. Against yeah. the Raptors. That's right. Was, and I was there. And Not you... his 81-point game, though. No, 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 it was it was a, triple, uh, it was a big game for him, but not his last game. It was the last game against Toronto. Okay. Do you not remember, Evan? Yeah, I remember. I see we still have that Lakers hat. I, rem I remember that. So what's the deal with the Lakers here? Why, don't, um, why do you like the Clippers more than the Lakers? Uh... I think, I think that the Lakers are just, they have a deeper, uh, they have a deeper team. They do? Stop. Do you think that they're going to, uh, do you think they're going to take it? Do you think LeBron's going to take them all the way to the finals or what? Yeah, I, I think they're going to make it to the finals with um, the Milwaukee Bucks. Really? Yeah. Why? Uh, well, well, the Milwaukee Bucks are the best team in the entire world right now with a record of 42 and 7. Who's on their team? Yeah, Giannis Andetokounmpo. He is... Giannis, the Greek freak guy? Yeah. He's on it. Milwaukee? He's on Milwaukee. So so they're they're in first place in the East? They're in first place in the East, and the Lakers are first place in the West. So you think it's going to be those two meeting each other? Yep. Do you... Let's turn the volume down on this just a wee bit. Do you think... Um, so you're a Clippers fan, but is that only because Kawhi was in Toronto and now he's in in LA or do you is there another reason uh no I just like how Kawhi plays uh he hit one of the greatest playoff shots I'd say in Raptors history I'd say the best but just uh his clutch factor and his, his play on both sides of the court is just really fun to watch mm. and um I think he's a well-rounded player and he has mm. Great, great team that surrounds him. Yeah. With Paul George. Paul George is also uh, one of the best offensive players. And he's even first team all defense, meaning he's one of the best or is the best um, defender at his position. And Paul George was your favorite player kind of he for was, a minute yeah. there, right? Yeah. And, okay. Remember those people that sat in front of us when we were trying to talking about how he snapped his leg and they were like, don't bring that. Don't bring that juju into this game. Do you remember that? Yeah. Because he... I do. Um, then, then I looked up and saw it. It was pretty bad. It wasn't, oh, as, yeah. wasn't as bad as they were making it to be. Patrick Beverly? No. No, wasn't it Paul George? Paul George. Broke his yeah, leg. Broke his leg when he... Oh, yeah. And it was like a super Yeah, that bad, was disgusting, yeah. Super bad break. But then he came back better than ever. And then he... Got traded to Oklahoma City Thunder to play with Russell Westbrook. And, um... You've said Russell Westbrook before. He's one of your favorite players? Uh, yeah. Yeah, he's up there. He's um, up there? Yeah. Uh, I, I think he's kind of passing the torch to Luka Doncic a little bit. They have a really similar stat line from uh, Russell Westbrook in his first season. Okay. Uh, aver averaging a triple-double, as in at least uh, 10 yeah, points. What's a triple-double? Or a triple-double is... When a player averages, or doesn't have to average, but when a player gets 10 points, 10 assists, and 10 rebounds, uh, there's three, all three uh, of the major stat lines. Are in double digits? Are in, yeah, offensive stat lines are in double d double digits. Ah, so, I see. Hence the name Triple Double. Great, just for the folks watching that don't know what a triple double is. Yep. Right? And uh, LeBron James, everyone knows that name. He's probably the biggest athletic player biggest, in sports like, history. Biggest like most, nah, not as big as Jordan. Well, no, I think the or name. Or Kobe? LeBron, think? I think LeBron James is just a more well-known guy. You ask anyone on the street, I mean anyone, they're going to say, yeah, I know, I know who you're talking about, you know, so. Hmm. And I, I think Jordan is kind of. Then that guy, he was that guy when he was playing, but he didn't have that much impact on the world. Like he, he, he did, but 
relatively not the same as LeBron. LeBron has just changed the entire sport. Has he? How? Yeah, because he, uh, at the start of his career, from he was drafted in 2003. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure in the two, the 2003 draft class is the first overall pick. Um, and he um, kind of progressed over his career as a dunker. And then, yeah, because he um, decided to take his talents to South Beach which is a famous quote. <laughs> is, that, is that right? Yeah, and he said that on a news report. And, yeah. Because uh, he wanted to play with Dwayne Wade and Chris Bosh, which then formed, uh, I think, the best big three, as in uh, And so he won a championship stars. there, right? Yeah, he won two championships there. Uh-huh. And then I think uh, his teammate Dwayne Wade won one more championship. I have no idea where. With Pat Riley yeah. coaching? Yeah, I think so. Hmm. Um, okay. I didn't know that uh, that he was there. Then he went to Cleveland and won one. Yeah, he went, he went to Cleveland. And now he's going to win and another he, one yeah, with he, LA. Yeah, he turned into a really good defender there. He had the greatest chase down block ever on Andre Iguodala. And um, he also won finals MVP, I'm pretty sure. He deserved to. And they, uh, uh-huh. they, the Warriors that they were playing against in the finals blew a 3-1 lead. Uh, oh, really? Also, a really popular moment. Um, and, uh, yeah, they had Steph Curry. They had um, they had Clay Thompson, and they had Draymond Green. Those are their three uh, big stars on their team. Draymond Green is known for being a defensive-minded player. Also, somehow gets points. I, I don't see him get any points, but... Somehow he, he gets so. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. And uh, Clay Thompson and Steph Curry are known as the Splash Brothers because they make every single three point shot. And Steph Curry, uh-huh. everybody kind of knows the deal with him being one of the greatest, or if not the greatest, um, three point shooter ever, surpassing Steph- Ray Allen, or he was going to this year, but he did not because he broke his hand. How did he break his hand? hand. Why did he uh, so. I forget who he was playing against, but he went up for a layup, and he took a charge, but he jumped when he took the charge. So he fell over, and he landed on his hand. Oh. Um, okay. So, yeah. Probably shouldn't do that. Probably shouldn't. And then, yeah, uh, the former best three-point shooter, Ray Allen. Uh, he was going I remember to Ray Allen. Year. I remember Ray Allen. Yeah, and he played with Ray John Rondo, which actually plays for the Lakers right now. He's still in the NBA. Old and, dude? Is he old? Uh, Ray John Rondo, yeah. He's he's like mid-30s, late 30s. Oh, he's young. He's yeah, he's, really he's young. one of the best, most creative passers ever, though. Is that right? Yeah. You and can, with the Raptors, you want to get 15. Awesome. Consecutive. 15 consecutive wins for the Raptors. <clears throat> it's why, time. Why are they winning? Uh, because they're in the Eastern Conference. The Eastern Conference is not as stacked. The Western Conference is known to have huge players like LeBron James and um and those the giant and, uh, we just saw from Dallas yeah, and, and uh Kristaps Porzingis and Luka Doncic and James Harden James Harden also one of the best known players in the NBA uh-huh he's uh, fun to watch right yeah, he is very fun to watch yeah and his teammate Russell Westbrook too and um huh and yeah in the Eastern Conference there's players like Kyrie most people know that name because of his uh, his huge shoe company, actually. And then answer the question, why do you think the, the Raptors have won 15 straight without Kawhi? Yeah. I think the Raptors have won 15 straight because there's been a lot of moves with uh, separate teams. And um, once again, they're in the Eastern Conference, so... Um, mm. But they must be playing well as a team. They have to, yeah, they have to be. And they're a really diverse team. Every player on their team kind of scores. Okay. And it's, it's not for them. It's not a game of, uh, who refs. It's because they play as hard as they can. Yeah. And they have Pascal Siakam, which right now is an all star. Okay. And he's going to be this year. He's very good. <clears throat> he was even better at the start of the season, averaging like twenty seven points. 
mm. which was crazy. And now he's averaging about 26, 20, 25 wow. around there. And he's been a huge, huge factor. Uh, not that big of a job, but still. Wow. He's been a huge factor in their wins. Also, Kyle Lowry. Um, I I think he's the best Toronto Raptor ever. Because uh, he's been there for a while. Mm-hmm. He's also a three, four, maybe four-time All-Star. I have no idea. Mm. It's one of the things I don't know. <laughs> so, no, you don't know. <laughs> uh, yeah. and So if you were... T- so your prediction is what L.A in the final against who? Uh, LA Lakers versus Milwaukee Bucks, I think. Okay. I think the Raptors are going to make, make it to third round of, of playoffs. Yeah, it sounds like they're going to. I don't think they really, have, they really have a shot at beating the Lakers, though. No. Just saw Anthony, da- Anthony what a beast. Davis just, just got to Davis got dunk. a beast. Okay, so those you heard it here, folks. Those are the predictions. Anything else you want to say? Mm-hmm. No other that uh, the Lakers are kind of... And now you don't do your... Um, uh, slap your <laughs> no, and, other than uh, the Lakers. We're watching the Lakers in Phoenix. Who's going to win this game? Lakers, for sure. For sure. They're up 53-43. Yeah, 10-point so game. They look scared. Well, so now you know. <laughs> nice. Till soon. Till soon. What he said. What he said, so now you know. Yeah.